Greetings everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here at the start of a new campaign in Old World Blooms, in which we are playing as a certain unusual nation called Ouroboros. Now, we're going to be playing with Hecate, the goddess of the dark moon, custom game rules like normal, everything's going to be set to default, no idea what's going to happen because we're going to leave historical AI focuses off and let us begin. But, as you can see on screen, there's a little bit of a list here in which I'm having a little survey or a little poll on my Discord server in which you guys can vote if you join my Discord server on which nation and mod we will be using early on in the month of December 2020. Uh, the Discord server link is the first one in the description below. But the mods we're currently using for this campaign include Old World Blues, Old World Blues Radio, State Transfer Tool Mod, Player Led Peace Conferences, as well as Colored Events. Let us begin, and I'll be honest here. I have no idea how this is going to turn out. I have not played Ouroboros before. I've never played as Hecate. I've seen her do stuff, but I have no idea what's going to happen. So let us begin together with Last of the Twisted Hairs. It's time you sit down a moment and hear the story of how one Twisted Hair rose up to the challenge of the Wasteland and made it her, um, her slave. Anyways, Hecate's story, part uno. Let's see, what do we have here? we got some guns. That's good. We don't need that if we've got guns. we got some of this. Not bad. Let's make sure we got three of that then. Do we have a navy? Do we have a navy? Maybe, maybe not. No, we have no navy. So we will make one ship because we can, and then we'll throw on a bunch of convoys. Thank you very much for playing. All right, we have three research slots. Are we civilized? We're pretty middle ground here, it looks like. Pretty much almost literally middle ground everywhere. We can't make robotics. We can't make power armor. Whatever. Let's see. And, of course, we are civilized. Any other buffs here? No, I'm not seeing too much down here. No, no, no. Engineering, of course, Ohm's Law is always good to start with, as well as work is needed. And I suppose we should go with combat language. What divisions do we have? Oh, some, some of these guys are quite experienced. 12 combat width. Pretty plain. 12 combat width. That's fine. Let's see. 20, 40, 40, 20. Very cool. Uh, set you to low. Set you to high. Anything on the militia force that we need to know about? Nope. And Hounds of Hecate. Which I believe it... I'm pretty sure I looked this up. It's either Hecate or Hecate for the correct pronunciation. Of course, I could be extremely wrong, but... Someone might correct me in the comments below. So, I don't know. Let's see. Jordan Day. Strong, enduring, agile. He's part of the sea. Cool. And, of course, led by Mama Hecate. Charismatic, intelligent, agile. She's part of the CIA. Mm. She's really good with uh, planning. Not bad. Cool. Let us let time go on, my friends. And, of course, before we do that... Come to decisions, disable this, because we don't need to see that. Procurement of things, political actions, tributize, claim jumpers. Ooh, we get to get raids? Ooh. Uh, old bones. Oh, that looks really awesome. Tyrantus. Tyrannitus. Tyrantus. Well, I kind of want to threaten people right now. Hmm. Old bones. Well, let's get our guys <clears throat> on the border. With enough organization, if you'd like to read about the Captain 3.0 update, go right ahead. And the last of the Twisted Hairs. <clears throat> Hecate Story Part 1. When the Twisted Hairs tribe was annihilated by the Legion, nearly all had been wiped out, just as the other tribes had assimilated into the Collective. It was a Tuesday for the Legion, but for the Twisted Hairs, it was the end of their story. At all, at least, except for at least one, one Twisted Hair. A woman had nowhere else to go. It was her tribe that had been killed, but more than that, a home. After, she wandered the desert, passing from tribe to tribe, trying to find someone who would take her in and give her a home to replace what she had lost. The tribe spurned her and turned her away. They told her that she was cursed, that the Legion had marked her, and that she would bring death to anyone who gave her succor. Consumed with anger and hatred, she fled back into the desert. From which she came. None of the tribes ever saw her again. The wasteland consumed her. All that she was was lost to the unforgiving sun and the burning sands. Her mind left her and she forgot who she was. She felt parts of herself drifting away day by day until nothing remained. She fought to hold on to herself but to no avail until she remembered the anger and the hatred. The Legion had taken all that was dear to her. The tribes had called her a curse, death maiden, dark mother. She would show them all someday. Finally, she paused in her wanderings, collapsed, and let the desert take her. Wow, that's quite an interesting art piece. Ooh. <coughs> Part 2. She awoke in paradise. She found herself at the edge of a lake surrounded by trees. Water fell from the sky in torrents and filled the lake as waves rolled across its surface. Everywhere she looked, 
The world was green. Plants and trees that she had never seen before stretched as far as the eye could see. And from among the trees, strange animals gazed at her, their eyes filled with curiosity, not the hunger of the wasteland. As she stood looking across the landscape, she heard a whirling sound behind her. When she turned to look, she saw a shining metallic thing watching her. I can see that you are awake at last, it said with a woman's voice. I am Diana. Can you tell me your name? I... <clears throat> I don't know. She paused as she tried to remember who she was, struggling with the blackness that was her mind. Dark Mother, she blurted out at last. They call me the Dark Mother. Well, did they now? Well, I can call you Hecate then. Do you mind? Hecate. Hecate. Yes, forgive me. I know you don't understand, but I find it amusing. You see, I am Diana, and she was the goddess of the full or bright moon. Hecate was her opposite, the goddess of the new or dark moon. She was also known as the Dark Mother, so I thought I would christen you Hecate. Goddesses? Yes, both were goddesses of the moon. Forgive me. I must be confusing you to no end. I've been alone for centuries, and I find myself babbling now that I have someone to talk to. Come, let me show you my world, and we will talk and get to know one another. There is much we can learn from each other. Hecate gazed at the Shining One, nodded, and began to walk with her. She had found Paradise, a goddess, and had been elevated to, a, to the status of an equal. Now she was being offered knowledge. It was knowledge with which to gain vengeance over those who had wronged her. Part 3. <clears throat> Diana spent the next several months teaching Hecate about her herbs, plants, and their uses in treating ailments. She also spoke of breeding among animals, what to look for to ensure strong future stock, and how to recognize congenital traits that could be eliminated by proper breeding. When Hecate asked if the same technique could be applied to humans, Diana admitted that it could, but spoke of the virtues of love and free choice. She did not realize that her words now fell upon deaf ears. Diana did not realize that Hecate had sunk into madness. In her loneliness and innocence, she continued to teach her everything that she asked for, and Hecate absorbed it all and twisted it to suit her own needs and desires. Eventually, she told Diana that she needed to leave, but would someday return when the time was right for her to do so. Hecate braided her hair in the fashion of her lost tribe, and then painted her face so that none could recognize her. She traveled to the very same tribe that had rejected her and aided them with her newfound knowledge of the midwifery and herbal medicine. Once she had gained the trust of a tribe, she began to preach her philosophy, ideals, and faith. She asked that young women of the tribe join her and aid her in helping all the tribes of the wasteland. Thus, the daughters of Hecate were born. Eventually, the daughters began to decide who could marry and who could not. Who could have children, who also could not. Only a daughter was allowed to deliver a child into the world, and it was done in a birthing tent set apart from the rest of the tribe. No males were allowed in or near the tent. Anyone who disobeyed their edict was either stricken with impotence or their wives bore sickly children. If a daughter was ever harmed or killed, the men of the tribe were rendered impotent until a new daughter was assigned to them. And so the daughters grew in power and infamy. Unbeknown to the tribe, the daughters were taking the best of their children and replacing them with the weak or infirm. The best of the males were taken to the Ouroboros to become warriors in the hounds of Hecate. The best of the females were taken to become daughters. Over the years, Hecate watched as the tribes grew subtly weaker and her followers grew stronger and stronger after, over time, though. Hecate would bring her growing family and turn them into something great. She had built a home for herself, a home that stood in defiance of the legion's destruction of her tribe and the curse that had fallen upon her. Ouroboros would be the name of her new home and that would it would be a mighty one. The last of the twisted hairs. And so Hecate had risen from a fallen tribal to one of the mightiest warriors of the wasteland, a queen in her own right, and divinity in her own words. Her plot to build a mighty home for herself has succeeded beyond belief over the last 30 years. The city of Ouroboros transforming from a home of a long forgotten tribe to one of the mightiest cities in Colorado. A true testament to Hecate's strength and the power of a lust for revenge. Out of all the lessons that Diana gave Hecate, which struck with her the most? Genetics Uno Zero Uno, an abridged history of Athenian culture. Spartan Military Tactics, Chapters 311. Hmm. All are quite interesting. I don't mind Army XP, but we don't have enough guns to really use it yet. Stability? I like stability quite a bit. <clears throat> Jordan Day, the Alpha. Learn of Jordan Day, the leader of the Hounds of Hecate, and the Warriors of Ouroboros. I want to go ahead and maybe smash to bits. Oh, see what happens when we go to war with the old bones or tributize them? They've been tributized. Our preferred method of diplomacy has again shown them tent slickers who carry the bigger stick. The old bones now pay us a bunch of caps so that we don't hurt their precious little civilization. No promises. Big guns, big money. Do we actually get stuff from them? We got it. No, that's from earlier, huh? Jordan Day. The Alpha. Over the years following Ouroboros' establishment, there's been a bit of dissonance between the old guard led by Hecate, the daughters, and the warriors of Ouroboros, the hounds of the hounds. Jordan Day, the leader of the hounds, was earlier in life. A dedicated and loyal warrior to the goddess. At one point, he met a traveler whom guided him to the love of his life, Ivana. In this chance encounter, on seeing how outsiders can influence and change one's life, stuck with Jordan. Ever since then, Jordan having bickered and quarreled with Hecate more so than before.
what did this traveler tell Jordan? Dude, Hecate's crazy. Hmm. Anyone see with numbered jumpsuits around here? See anyone with numbered jumpsuits? If you ever meet a robot looking for me, say I was never here. Hmm. Well, how many things do we got? We got that's not bad. Six is actually not too bad. Oh, you know what? I think I'm going to go with see anyone with numbered jumpsuits around here. And then sweet, sweet revenge. Scheming and plotting doesn't get you anywhere unless you have a goal in mind. So we bully these people, but can I bully them again? Oh, we can tax them. Oh, no, no. We can, can we tributize Black Canyon? Well, they're, mm, they're looking pretty thick over there. One to five divisions. Let's do that one. I don't know. Let's tributize them, I guess. Rejected. Oh, man. I was kind of hope they said no. Now we get to smash them heads and get paid. Raid decisions, huh? Raid the countryside. All right, well, whatever. Recent years in Ouroboros. Recently, the city of Ouroboros has struggled somewhat with keeping faith in Hecate's divinity. A bit of a fuss with the old bones that led them to leaving our ranks and returning to their former homelands. The Dry Blowers and other old recruited gang of raiders joining them as well. Besides that, our nation is doing rather well. Hecate, or Hecate, hopes to end the little squabbles to the north. Then it will finally be time to go after the Legion and finally right the wrongs. Heal the wounds that have been festering for 30 years. At least, or at last, I will have my revenge. Wow, 20 more war support. Holy cow. So, unifying the way the wayward tribes, orphans of industry. It's not bad. It looks kind of good. <clears throat> Promising fields. Oh, that's a lot of political power, and that takes 45 days. The best. More attack on core territory. More defense on core territory. Uh, this doesn't look too bad. Create an intelligence agency for free. The other half. Not bad. The OMEC. Mark of quality. What do we want? I'm, we're probably gonna be using infantry in this one in this campaign. Ooh. Merge of previous national spirits or ideas into one big one. Better research speed for stuff. That's not bad. Even better research speed. Robotics, maybe. Fueling stuff. That seems cool. Bashing the bone boners. That sounds kind of painful. Just saying. Uh, you know what? We like going to war early on, so. At least I like going to war early on. So let's go with unifying the wayward tribes. Some years ago, a few tribes split off from our vision, feeling that Hecate had grown mad over the winning years. We needed to correct this dire mistake. And I, I want to smash those guys first, so let's tax them anyways. Because if we get to beat them up later on, why don't we just tax them now and then reap the benefits? Can we tributize the claim jumpers? Rejected. Oh, that sucks. Dead horses? Rejected. Probably because I don't have soldiers on the border, whatever. They're all going to die in the end anyways. Rejected. We played nice. Tributize Eagle Rock? Rejected. Yeah. Probably next time I should actually put soldiers on the border with them. It's alright. They're all going to be, they're all going to perish, nonetheless. Because Hecate, she's really good with, oh, well, she's pretty good at organization, plus 6%. 10% more stability. She dislikes Kazos Legion. If you like to read about this, go right ahead. Ooh. More stability, like I said, and more daily compliance gain. Now that is pretty darn nice. Oh, pretty intellectual. Broken tribute. Has broken our mutual agreement. They no longer want to pay for the privilege of being left alone. Time to bully some nerds. Now that was the exact wrong thing to do, old bones. It sounds like, or seems like we'll have to smash some boners, some old boners here. Sounds very weird. <laughs> All right, Jordan Day. What do you do, rooted? Well, we're probably gonna keep infantry, so I'm gonna go with commando. Ninja, let's get some ninja too, why not? Oh, do you even, he's really good in defense, wow. He's part of the sea, so. And we'll also, mm, I kind of, I really do like loot. Rooted, not looted, but rooted, because you get more max entrenchment. Alrighty, Toddy. Grab some reference manuals, and since we're here, grab some secret language. It's disappointing that we only have three research slots, but I think it makes some sense. After that, bashing the boners. The boners of the old bones tribals have made it to a point to make our lives a living heck ever since we took a few of their sacred skeletons back to Ouroboros to serve as decoration in the pyramid. Their reaction is been far overblown for what we did. Let's teach them a lesson. Oh, look at all this political power. Oh, look at this. Gene warriors. Oh, 6%. We get more stocks attack and defense, but we can't change this. That's not good. Outside of volunteers is not bad either. Standard wages. What do we have down, down, down here? Orange industrial slave flogger. Ooh, okay. Settlement builder. Anything else? Toothpick? That's all seems okay. What about down cultural advisors? No, da, da, da. Loose organization for more war support? Eh. Seems sort of generic. Political power gain plus 0 0.05. That's okay. Eh, not really great. If it's like 0.1, then I would consider it, but maybe later. 
five percent more recruitable population. That's definitely someone we got to get. More attack. Yeah, we don't have someone here to help lower attack and defense or garrisons. Damage your garrisons. I like the more max entrenchment. Ooh, minus twenty percent. Justify war goals. That's pretty good. So we're probably gonna go this way. No, scientific devotion. Land action. We'll probably go with conventional warfare. I don't see us really doing. Hmm, wasteland warfare, traditional warfare, conventional warfare. Uh, uh, well, hmm. Conventional warfare, we already have a bonus here. It's not like we're the Legion. It's not like we are raiders. So I will probably go with conventional warfare in this campaign. I'm thinking that's probably the best way for us to go. In addition, let's go and just grab this guy because temp, or the company actually, not, it's not a dude. 10% faster construction speed, why not? Jet, buff out, cycle, mentis, and even some old good old-fashioned Mary Jane are making a killing, literally, for some people. But for every person whose life is ruined by narcotics, there's a person who sold them the drugs that did them in. We're able to profit from this lucrative trade and can use the profits to fund our armies. Pass me a good old... hit. Hmm. More construction speed, factory output. It's not bad, I'll go ahead and do that too, why not? Jurassic measures are usually not worth it. Reference manuals are very nice. That's a little bit ahead of time, and let's go ahead and grab conventional warfare. Well, we might not be too conventional. I'm not really sure we could be considered, well, maybe, considered asymmetric in terms of what we do. Then again, it probably doesn't make too much sense, but I've already chosen the fit plus 50% research speed. Hmm. I guess the campaign after this, I'll, I won't choose that, that land option then. We'll see what happens. I don't know. After this, let's go ahead and grab some gliders, because gliders are... Super, super important to get. Super, super, super important. Yeah, we could raid, but all generals available for border war, all own states of the divisions available for border war, potential border war. Border wars are nice and all, but to really teach them a lesson, you just straight up take them out. One, two, three, da, da, da. Keep you guys right here so they don't enter the circle or, you know, cut these guys off. That would not be very good. There you go. Good. Bashing Le Boners. All fins of industry. Much of our history has been devoted to building a strong and secure bloodline. Now that we have built a foundation of excellent workers, we must now provide them with the tools for success. Come on. There we go. So now we can actually fill out the entire front line. And we can go to war whenever we want. We, and we only work as needed. Great. Grab some improvised tools. Thank you. Three, two. I'm not going to wait any longer. There we go. Come and see the dinosaur caverns. Well, let's see where their other divisions are. Let's see. Oh, another division. Don't mind if we do. There we go. Going to use them as bait. There we go. And actually, you guys go right there to there. And they go to Burnham, Burnham Springs. Hey, an encirclement. Don't mind if we do. Keep these guys in place. That'd be good. Troll Warren, Carcass Walkers, very nice, very nice. Cut these guys. Oh, there's actually two divisions down here. Delightful. They have up to probably four or five divisions. We've lost one guy versus 203. One guy. Keep it one guy. And they're gone. <sighs> they should have not have rejected our raid. The deep mines are the dry blowers. Well, they drive. They blow dry stuff dry, I guess. I guess they got a lot of hair dryers or something. Hmm. And since we're here. Pacification. Militia is good enough. Actually, how much daily compliance do we get now? I mean, we don't have outside of battalions, which would be much better. 0.7 comes up to 1, goes up to 1.3, 0 0.6, 0 0.9. Nice. Offensive of industry. How about after that? Let's see. Yeah, we're doing pretty well here. 26, 19, 18, 18. Not bad. Uh, let's go and grab. Outside our auxiliaries. Even more compliance. I love compliance. And more non-core manpower. It's very, very useful. Oh, I remember the back in the old days when the painted men used to live here. But, I guess we ran out of painted men. Oh, we could tributize them too. Why not? Oh, they rejected. Oh, that. You know, why do they keep rejecting us? God. It's like Hecate's like life story. Just being rejected and rejected until, you know, you get to take them over. Jeez. What a bunch of mean people. Regardless, we're going to do Blasting Blowers. The Dry Blowers languish in the mines north of the Old Bones. Former, former Raiders, who at one point were able to see the light. It seems the time they have spent in darkness and their caves have darkened their soul just the same. Let us show them the price of falling. I love planes. 
Oh, wow, look at that. We already have Guerrilla Tactics. Uh, hmm. Yeah, that's pretty good. I'm still somewhat regretting my choice of going conventional warfare, but I'm sticking with it. I'm not going to back out now. This would be good to get eventually. Do we do? Oh, we can do this too. You know what? Let's focus on organizing military society. More passive caps income, less caps income, but less caps expenses. Ooh, and since we have these guys, thank you very much. Let's put you on three. We need. Oh, we actually need more energy. Wow, that's a little different. Okay, well, whatever. And since we have that many guys, Hounds of Hecate, or Hecate. There you go. And do we need to train any more? Yes. Very much yes. 80 and 82%. Not bad. Reclamation Authority? Very nice. Do we have any more money? We have 25. That's not bad. Raiders. Mm, we'll go ahead and send out some manual prospectors. We'll see what we can find. Blasting the blowers, eh? Bleached bones. Oh, we get stories of the old bones. Yeah, we'll see what that does. We get less resistance to our get. These boners are left laid to rest in the sands. So they can become the bones they revere so much. Bleached boners. Is that supposed to be like a color or something? Like, hmm. The BB, the bleached boners. Very odd, I will say. Very weird for the uh, devs to put that in, but sure, why not? Very, very weird. Drastic stuff. Chain choir. Declare one of the last patrol. That's pretty normal. Political bribes. Actually, why not be too bad? Because I really don't mind getting something else, maybe? Maybe not. And there we go. Actually, what does this one do? The Great City of Ouroboros. So that's not bad. Mechanical servants. Ooh. Pyramids of the Dark Moon. That's not a lot you get from that, but that's okay. You know what? Just go ahead and go out there, battalions. Just go ahead and grab it. Oh, 28 percent. 0.7 jumps up to 0 0.1, 0 0.4. All right, not not as much as I'd hoped, but that's okay. All right, let's see what happens. Just go and go to war. Oh, you guys are still training. Maybe we should stop training here then. So we'll probably attack here. Let's get a little bit more organization first. Uh, if we attack here first, actually, that might be better. So we really maximize the amount of divisions we're attacking at once and go straight to the deep mines. It looks like they might be out of equipment, maybe. Oh, they, oh maybe they throw on some demo teams. Three, two, I'm not going to wait any longer. Here we go. And go ahead and help out. 84, improvised tools, very nice. Construction speed, woodworking, thank you. 85, ooh, and you definitely want to help these guys out. Two divisions here? No, 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 no. 86, 87. I will do some force attack if we need to. You know what? Just go and force it. Really? Oh. Really hurt him hard. There you go. Oh. There's quite a few soldiers here. Conventional warfare. Not bad. Battle plans? Why not? If that's the case. You guys could probably help attack here too then. And you're going to help attack here. These soldiers are slightly strong. Not too bad so far. After this, we probably want to calm down in attacking and begin probably coring more territory, especially since we are running out of infantry equipment already. It is what it is. Stories of the old bones. There are hounds march across the fields of the old bone tribals. Skin bleached white by the punishing wasteland sun, a few prisoners of war spoke of a secret place. One in which they hoped to defend in the hopes of keeping such the evils there forever contained and to protect the wasteland from such wars. We could use this against the Legion if we can get power there. It wasn't too hard to find, taking a train hounds a few hours there. They found something that probably wasn't meant to ever be seen by the eyes of the wastelanders. A place that was truly a horror of the old world, spewing flames of hell and Hades, reaching out and scorching the very earth itself. Men who went down there returned as disgusting, horrible slaves to its will. Flesh bent, and mutated beyond the point of recognition. It was as if they'd been born anew, and the springs scorching their bodies and remaking them like a foliage. I need it. What is this? Burnham Springs. Ah, oh, so this is it. But fix thine eyes below, for draweth near the river, river of blood within, which boiling is whoever, where by violence doth injure others. O blind cupity, cupity, O wrath insane that spurs us onward, so in our short life, and the in the eternal then so badly seeps us. Wow, we lost all 
<laughs> quite a bit of that uh, ward support. But at least we got Burnham Springs as a core. That's nice. No more resistance here, and actually get more population. That'd be good. Thank you very much. Help this out a little bit more. Very nice. And we should be able to win this very, very soon. We have taken quite a bit of damage, I suppose, but it is what it is. Fire teams, perhaps? Ooh, not bad. Flooding the chasm? Not bad. Ooh, that's not bad, but I kind of want to see what happens around here. The great city of Ouroboros. Purification cities? Eh, seems, like, this, this seems okay. Scientific or construction tech? Not bad. Settler robotics tech? Tribal robotics tech? That seems okay stuff. Let's grab the Narm Workshop. The Pyramid of the Dark Moon is the center of Ouroboros' government, a religious site from which Hecate and her select daughters of Hecate are able to rule and dictate the fate of the nation. From this pyramid, we must make decrees, ensuring that our nation is protected at all costs. Very good. How many men have we lost? How many hounds? Well, we can't see now because this is glitch. Let's see over here. Hey, we actually got it. We lost 20 guys so far. So be it. 40, 87. This seems a little bit off. I'm not going to lie. Which one is it? Is it 94, 95? Is it 40? Which one? I have a little bit of confusion with this. Hmm. Someone here is not telling the truth. Well, it was 90. Scavengers found something. Hey! ArcJet System Schematics. Organized. Oh, look at that. Okay, cool. Construction speed. Piercing is okay. Defense. Explosive proficiency. I like that one. Force it. I sometimes I get a, too, a little too reckless with forcing the attack, but sometimes it provides great, great benefits. Now, you're not going to allow these guys to move, you see. For we're going to attack right here and keep attacking and destroying them while our soldiers are going straight to the burned fields. Going to get 1.23 political power every day. Not bad, not bad. Cut them off. Do not let them move. We have plenty of army XP, and they are surrounded and shall die and perish. Oh, like the tribals they are. Oh, thank you for playing, dry blowers. You have been blown dry. Which sounds really bad, but don't, don't quote me on that. Cool. Alright. Chief of the army. Yeah, we gotta go with this one, expanding the gang. But, let's see. Anyone else? Power broker. Non-core manpower might not be bad. Oh, actually, let's grab this. Oh, no, we're already on every cap for the army. That's actually pretty good already. No wonder we're doing well with that. Civilian factory construction speed. Uh, actually, I'm going to go with this. A slave flogger. I normally don't choose them too early, but let's try that one. Indentured for life? Yes, please. Those who work to betray us must be punished as to teach the orders and Ouroboros a lesson in disloyalty. We will put these raiders to work in the mines permanently. Sounds like a lot of fun. Quite a bit of fun. But if you excuse me, I will be right back. All right, everyone, it's time to choose some new technology, such as... Ooh, local workspaces, that's a pretty good one to choose. And, hmm, we just finished Indentured for Life. Hmm, Flooding the Chasm, Wealth of the Springs. If we keep going down here, it sounds pretty interesting to me, so... Fire teams, let's do Flooding the Chasm. Hecate, in her ruminations, has discovered another opportunity to ending the flames using water. By redirecting water from a nearby river, we can work to fill some of the hotter chasms and bring the total heat down. Very good. And we are training our soldiers as we've already, and we just made our soldiers 18 combat with, which we have enough guns to do so, or infantry equipment. But we might just have enough to make these guys 20 combat with already. Ooh, almost enough. Now we have enough. We have enough. Wow. Beautiful. We're training our soldiers, having a good time with them. <clears throat> now, we could raid other people. But what does raiding actually do for us? That's a good question to ask. Does it give us equipment? Does it give us land? Hmm. I guess we'll see once all of our soldiers are done training, I should say. We've got 80 or 81 naval XP. That's pretty darn good. Still building some stuff up here. We have a special project going on, which is prioritizing living standards. <clears throat> Flooding the chasm, landing score to declare war on the Summers, Feder Summers Federation, huh? And fledgling industry. Not bad, more output. I really like that one. Mole and mole output. Ooh, we actually filled this up as well. Ooh, we definitely, yeah, we should maybe focus a little bit more on getting energy stuff. Perhaps. Perhaps later. Oh, 51%. Nice. Factory output. Stability helps out so much. God, stability is so good to get. So much good. Look at that. Divisions. Very nice. 
Very, very good. Is that all we can take out for this episode? Maybe, maybe not. But regardless, metal hands braid the flames. Our hounds sadly do not possess the armor necessary to braid the hottest parts of the mines just yet. However, we can enlist the help of robotic helpers to try to end this flame and figure out what is inside of the pits. And yes, I do know all that time go went on while I was waiting for the focus to get done. It doesn't really matter where we're headed. Not too much, no, not really. Ooh, more soft attack. Yes, 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 please. Battle plans, we'll do fueled fortifications next. More entrenchment, more soft attack, more hard attack. Weapon infantry, huh? Ah, oh, so that's for... Oh, support equipment, support people, huh? All right, cool. Let's go through at least one more focus and maybe we'll call it an episode. Maybe, maybe not. <clears throat> I don't want to have to manually just find other people, but we'll see what happens. So we already have outside battalions. Raid recruiter, yeah, let's go and grab that since we can't even raise the conscription level. So that would be pretty good to do. And since we only get 1.47 every month, that's not bad, actually. We will have to core this. And how is the resistance going? 91% already. Holy cow, that's pretty good. Dry blowers, 45. Not bad. Also very, very good. Needs 2.6. Goes down by 0 0.03, 0 0.02 every day. Pretty nice. Slowly getting more... Manpower as well. Look at that. Awesome. Just awesome. How much? 16.59. 64. Alright. Not bad. Not bad. And when's the next tech done? Just to be sure. Okay, cool. We'll do Fire Team 6. <clears throat> Where automation and engineering fail, we can rely on the resolve of a few of our mightiest hounds. Let us show this flame who is the true master of the world is. Heck and Hades have no room in the wasteland underneath Hecate's glory. More war support, army XP, and you get two more building slots. Not bad. Who are we going to choose next? Aggressive I kind of like that, but... Hmm. This is better. You get more attack, and you don't even lose defense. So Brute is obviously better than the one already selected. I might just get 6% more non-core manpower. That's actually pretty darn good once you have enough places that you have to cover. Generic systems, air equipment technology, that's not bad. That's, ooh, plus 15% more ground attack for planes? Ooh, that's not bad. Now, I'm not sure if we can get stuff to core Colorado later. This is only 55. It's probably not really worth it, but that might just give us this small, small nudge. There we go. We get a positive amount of energy. That's what I actually wanted to do that for. Local workspace is not bad. Let's grab some resistors because we love research speed. Hmm. Lanius is very, very aggressive. Land fort. Oh, that's not bad. Support equipment. We're not even making that much, though. We will need more of it. You know what? I almost never choose this one. Let's go and choose that one. I almost never, ever choose it. And we're making some anyway, so why not? Make sure we got plenty of guns. Make sure we got plenty of planes. And do we even have an airbase in our land? Not really, no. Siege of Hidden Valley. And there goes the Mojave chapter. Actually, the next one. Oh. 25 days, cool. And we shall end with the Wealth of Springs. With the flames, partly tamed, we can send Fire Team 6 into the heart of the caves to discover what remains at its deepest level. But unfortunately, that's where we're going to end today's episode, my friends. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. Don't forget to vote in my Discord server, or at least at the poll. And I will see you tomorrow after you let me know which path we should take. Dark moon rising, a dark moon falls. Always false, always false. Shoot dead horse raiders. Hounds of Colorado, let me know in the comments below. Regardless, have a great, tremendous rest of your day.